So, following a week off for good behaviour, Arsenal are back in action on Wednesday evening. It's another London derby away at Sellers Park. This is the Crystal Palace versus Arsenal match preview. Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again. In this video, I'm going to look ahead to Wednesday night's match away at Crystal Palace, the penultimate Premier League game of the season, our final away match. I'm going to look at previous meetings, I'm going to look at current form, I'm going to predict the lineups, and I'm going to give a score prediction. Just before I get into all that, I just want to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. If you enjoy what I do, you like some generally positive Arsenal content, I also look at the history of the club and cover the Arsenal women, please click the subscribe button down in the corner there. It is completely free of charge. It just helps the channel to grow. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like as well. Please share the content around. If you've got any comments at all to make about this particular game or anything else to do with Arsenal, please drop them in the comments box as I always love to hear from you guys as well. So, in terms of previous meetings, Arsenal and Crystal Palace have actually only met on 48 previous occasions. Arsenal have won 28 of those games. There's been 15 draws and Crystal Palace have won just five. The first meeting was in January 1934. That was in an FA Cup fourth round tie. Arsenal won 7-0 at Highbury. The first league game wasn't until November 1969 at Sellers Park and Arsenal won 5-1. But we haven't done so well in recent meetings. In fact, we've not won any of the last five that we've played against Crystal Palace. There's been four draws and we suffered one defeat. In fact, all of the last three meetings have finished in a draw. Our last win against Crystal Palace came back in January 2018. It was a 4-1 victory at the Emirates. And our last away win at Sellers Park actually came in December 2017 when we won 3-2. That game included two goals from Alexis Sanchez, his last two goals actually for the club. We are unbeaten in our last three visits to Sellers Park. That includes one win and two draws. That was since a 3-0 defeat in March 2017. Um, and that defeat actually is the only one that we've suffered in our last 17 visits to Sellers Park. And that's since November 1979. We've won nine and drawn seven of those games. So that defeat in 1979, coupled with the one in 2017, they're actually the only two games that we've lost away at Crystal Palace in 22 previous visits. That includes 12 wins and nine draws. In fact, we've only lost two of our last 22 meetings with Crystal Palace in all competitions, home and away. We've won 12 and there has been eight draws. So in terms of current form, then Crystal Palace come into this game sitting 13th place in the Premier League. They've got 44 points from their 36 games. They have won two of their last three matches, including victory over Aston Villa at Sellers Park at the weekend. They came from behind twice to win that game 3-2. However, they've only had two wins in their last seven at home. They've drawn two and lost three. And they only actually have three wins in their last 11 Premier League matches. They've drawn three and lost five of those games. Their top scorer this season Season is Wilfred Zaha with 11 and he's closely followed by Christian Benteke who's having a good season. He's got nine goals so far. In terms of London derbies at home then, Crystal Palace haven't won one this season. They've drawn 1-1 with Spurs and 0-0 with Fulham while they were beaten 3-2 by West Ham and 4-1 by Chelsea. In terms of our form, then, of course, we come into this game on the back of three consecutive league victories. And in fact, we've won our last three away from home without conceding a goal. We're actually unbeaten in our last six away as well. That's four wins and two draws. That goes all the way back to February and that 1-0 defeat away at Aston Villa. 
Our top scorer this season, of course, is Alexander Lacazette with 17 in all competitions. Then comes Aubameyang on 15 and Pepe, who's got 12. In terms of London derbies away from home, then we've only lost one. That was away at Tottenham in November. That was a 2-0 defeat. Other than that, we've won at Fulham by three goals to nil. We beat Chelsea 1-0, of course, in our last game. And we also drew 3-3 away at West Ham. So in terms of the lineups, then Crystal Palace tend to favour the 4-3-3 formation. Um, in goal is usually Guaita, although it was Butland played at the weekend against Aston Villa. Their back four quite often is Ward, Kayate, Cahill and Mitchell, who scored his first goal for the club at the weekend. Of course, other options in defence for them are Scott Dan, Tompkins, Van Arnholt, of course, left back and Kelly. In midfield, the three tends to be Schluck, McCarthy and Eze, although they've also got... Uh, Reid Evold and of course Mihailovic as well, their club captain who's been in and out of the side recently. And the three up front, recently it's been Townsend, Ben Teke and Zaha, although they've also got Batshuayi and Ayu. So that'll be who they've got to pick from on this particular game. In terms of our lineup, then, you never really know what Arteta is going to do. He did go with that back three against Chelsea, but I do believe that was a one-off for that game. I think this is going to be back to the 4-2-1-3 system that he's favoured. So I think it's going to be Matt Ryan in goal this time. Obviously, Leno looks as though he may be leaving at the end of the season. So I think Matt Ryan may well start this game. I think it'll be a back four. I think it'll be Chambers at right back, Holding and Gabriel in the centre with Tierney at left back. Of course, Mari played OK against Chelsea. He's always an option as well, isn't he? Plus as well, Bellerin at right back. I'm not sure Cedric's really going to get a game at this moment in time. He doesn't seem to be favoured at all, does he? The two in midfield, I think it'll be Partey and Xhaka. Assuming Xhaka's fit, if not, I think El Nenny will come in as he did against Chelsea and did OK. Um, I think it's either going to be smith Rowe or Odegaard in the number 10 position. Possibly smith Rowe. he's been playing well there. Odegaard's not quite been on his form, as he, recently? Then in the front three, I think it'll be Saka, Aubameyang and Martinelli on the left. Although, of course, Pepe will be in with a shout as well. And, of course, Lacazette now as well. Now he's fit, will be looking for a start as well. But they're the lineups I'm expecting for this game. So we're certainly finishing the season pretty well in the Premier League. Now the pressure's off following our Europa League exit. Well, Crystal Palace have secured their safety again for a fourth season in a row. So I'm not expecting there to be any pressure on either team in this game. We're still chasing that final European spot. A top six, top seven could be enough to get us into Europe one way or the other. I'm sure Mikel Arteta will want to win this game. We haven't got a bad record away at Crystal Palace and I think that will go in our favour. I do think we will probably come out on top actually, but I think it'll be quite a tight game. But I think Arsenal will just snatch I think it'll be Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal one. So yeah, it'd be good to finish the season, wouldn't it, with another two victories to make it five league victories in a row to end the season. Maybe that'll add to the frustration that we've had if we could have put together runs like this earlier in the season. Certainly over the first half, we could well be challenging for the top six and the top four. But that's in the past. We have got these two games left. I think it's important that we do try to win them. And if we can, we may well sneak into Europe, which could be vital for the development of the young players next season, also from a financial perspective as well. Either way, I think we all understand that this has been a very disappointing season uh, and things need to improve massively next next season don't they if Arteta stays or if he doesn't there's going to have to be a massive improvement in results so that's my preview there of visit to Sellers Park to face Crystal Palace I will be doing a watch along other game so please stay tuned for that I'll be putting the links up on social media and then of course after this game we'll be moving towards the final match of the season our last home game against Brighton of course where there's 10,000 fans going to be in the ground that's going to be really good as well and there is also of course a protest planned as well before the game I'll try to bring you coverage of all of that on Sunday so there's loads coming up on the channel also as well there is going to be some more historic videos as well looking back at some great times from the past and maybe some not so great times as well just all the stuff that's made Arsenal the club that it is today and the club that we all love so much so loads coming up on the channel if you haven't done so already please get the subscribe button down in the corner there I say it's free it does help the channel to reach a larger audience 
if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like as well please share the content around and please let me know what your thoughts are on this crystal palace game what do you think the lineup will be what's your score prediction as well do you think we're going to end the season with another two victories it'll certainly build a little bit of momentum won't it going into pre-season and looking ahead to next season as well but let me know what you think about that so thanks for watching thanks for your support of the channel and um, i say stay tuned lots of great stuff coming up and of course in the meantime as always we're heading towards the end of this very very difficult season come on you gunners